Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Thursday morning, March 7th here, as we do have an upgrade since yesterday to a winter storm warning for parts of west central and southwest Nebraska, places like Chase, Perkins, uh, Lincoln County, I especially say western Lincoln County, uh, Keith County, McPherson, Arthur County, Garden, and Duell County in western Nebraska. A winter storm warning now in effect and will continue until tomorrow morning. Most of those places until 6 a.m. I believe it, it goes out a little farther into Colorado. It goes, actually goes till noon tomorrow, central time, 11 o'clock mountain time. Um, surrounding that in purple, a winter weather advisory where impacts may be a little bit lower, but still impacts are possible in those areas. So really what I'm looking at here is a 4 to 12 inch range is what I'm going with in the pink. Yes, 4 to 12 inches of snow one to four inches of snow in here. There is an outside chance there may be some isolated spots that get more than expected to the east, but it is a much lower end chance. Let's check this out here on our uh, future cast. I'm gonna take this very slow. Again, we've already had the mixed moisture here out west. Uh, especially close to the Colorado border, rain and snow. There hasn't been too much freezing rain yet, but if the temperature can slip back below freezing yet this morning, then there could be some freezing rain. I think once we get past mid-morning, the freezing threat goes, the freezing drizzle threat goes away, and then we're only looking at rain or snow. Most of us will see rain and isolated thunderstorms lift northward into northern Kansas and southern Nebraska later today. But out west, as the colder air kind of begins to move in right in here from the west, we'll see a transition from rain to snow, mostly west of Highway 83 so west of north platte ogallala imperial sutherland north platte i think you'll see more rain than snow today during the daytime hours at least let's play this out slowly into tonight as that rain snow line transitions eastward here we're gonna see a change over to snow still mainly west of the tri-cities though before midnight this is when these areas right here pick up their heaviest snow right here ogallala you may pick up heavier snow during the day today but north platte your heaviest snow will come tonight during the evening hours. Rain off to the east and southeast, blustery northeasterly winds. We'll see that transition from rain to snow continue eastward late tonight into tomorrow morning. There's 7 a.m. tomorrow. Maybe still some rain in the southeast, but now more of us are seeing snow. But it is lightening up with time, so there the won't be the heavy snowfall that will be out west. As we get into tomorrow, still some lingering snow in the morning, maybe rain to the southeast, but then seeing that clear out in the afternoon. There may be some sun already in the afternoon especially the farther north you go. Farther south, some sun possible, but maybe more clouds lingering through the day. Blustery north winds, very blustery, and chilly conditions for your Friday. The coldest temperatures, though, where there's snow on the ground. So out west, I think that's where the coldest temperatures will be. And then tomorrow night, we'll see clearing skies. That'll take us into a sun-filled weekend. This is as far, this model only goes out through midnight tonight here, so I'll end it right there. But sunshine is expected this weekend. Snow will rapidly melt for those that do see it across the area. So snowfall totals expected to be highest out west near the Colorado border. 6 to 12 inches of snowfall. 4 to 8 just to the north of that. 5 to 9 here to the south. North Platte, I'm going to go 3 to 7 inches of snowfall here with the higher amounts just to your west. 2 to 5 for McCook and then westward. And then as you go to the east, lower amounts. Now, there may be some sneaky higher amounts of maybe two or two plus inches of snowfall, but most places it's one to three. This is kind of the wild card area right in here. I have two to six for North Broken Bow. You notice this model has nothing. Two to six, there is kind of a sneaky wild card of maybe getting a little bit more. So there is an outside chance of only zero or one inches of snowfall, but there's also a chance you get four to six inches of snowfall in here. That could kind of shock you. It's, this is the big wild card area right in here. That's the way, one area I'm really worried about where models are just all over the place right now. I could really draw in, if you wanted me to, I could draw in eight, zero to eight inches of snowfall. That's, that's what we would be looking at here. Even out west, I could go four to 12 inches of snowfall, really, but uh, I'm going to go six to 12 near the Colorado border. It's just, it's such a crazy forecast. Models are still all over the place. It's a matter of a degree or two, and, and changing rain to snow. And, and if it's heavy enough, you know, extra moisture, if it's cold enough, could really pile up quickly temperatures today they're in the 20s and 30s right now notice the wide range today 50s out east but some places out west watch how the temperature in ogallala drops this afternoon that says that rain transitions to snow there north platte probably still rain probably not much snow during the day tri cities may be close to 50 for a high you'll only see rain and then as that colder air winds out tonight we'll see the rain transitioning to snow from west to east by tomorrow morning most of us are in the 20s there are still some 30s in the southeast so it could still be just rain here for those that do still see moisture. And then tomorrow highs, 30s, some 40s off to the north where the sun tries to come out. I think your coldest temperatures will be out west where there's gonna be a lot more snow on the ground here. 
this is kind of the wild card area right here for it, it, a lot of it's going to depend on if the sun can come out i'm going to hope for 40 in the tri-cities but again if the sun doesn't come out we probably won't get there and then tomorrow night we'll drop back into the teen, upper teens and low to mid 20s for lows saturday summer recovery back into the low and mid 50s i'm a little iffy about this right here if there's a lot of snow on the ground maybe 40s for highs but that snow is going to rapidly melt good good sun angle a lot of sunshine march sun angle it should melt pretty rapidly tri-city seven day forecast here again rain today and this evening changing to snow after midnight continuing through tomorrow morning blustery and cold tomorrow and then the sun returns for saturday and sunday and so do the warmer temperatures we could see some moisture return by the middle of next week here and that moisture chance uh, as the unsettled weather returns could cool us back for the second half of next week back down into the 50s north platte probably mostly rain today i don't think you'll see you might see a few flakes mixed in this morning but mostly rain and then changing to snow this evening and snow continues through tomorrow morning colder conditions tomorrow blustery it could be colder than this if there's a lot of snow on the ground in north platte then sunshine will melt off that snow we warm it up through the weekend into early next week and again like the tri-cities the second half of next week maybe a little cooler with some more unsettled weather returning to the area well i want to thank you all for watching on this uh thursday morning i'll see you all again on friday with all the latest details until then take care enjoy your day if you're out west drive safe God bless. Bye.